witches, it's Taya. Um, today I wanted to talk a little bit about growth mindset and about 2020. Um, I think now that we're free and clear, it's 2021. Um, now is the time to look back before we kind of get into the new year and really think about what can we learn or what can we take away from 2020? Because I really think there's always something to learn or take away from any given situation, especially the, the, the negative situations, if you will, right? Things where it's really easy to turn around and be like, oh my gosh, that was awful, that sucked, you know, well, what can you take away from that? Um, 2020 was a bit of a dumpster fire, but I learned a lot about myself, my world, and my place in my world, and I don't know, I just thought that would be worth chatting about. If you have any big takeaways or big lessons that you've learned from 2020, leave them in the comments, I'd love to hear what you have to say. But for myself, uh, the first thing I learned is that my mental health routine is solid. Uh, about eight years ago, it was not so solid. And I went through a huge um, mental breakdown. And I guess I've spent the intervening years now being scared that I'm going to end up back in that place. And I think that if I was going to, 2020 would have been the year to put me back into that not so healthy mental space. So yeah, I learned that that, you know, I'm doing the right things and I'm, you know, I've come a million years since eight years ago. Um, I learned that I can be flexible. I'm not the most flexible person you're ever going to meet. Um, I'm, I like my routines. I like things to happen the way they're supposed to happen. And I mean, 2020 required a lot of flexibility and I'm really pr proud of myself that I could be flexible. Um, I learned that I am capable of being flexible. Uh, you know, when it's like, sorry, um, actually Christmas isn't going to happen. It's like, okay, by the end of the year, I'm like, we'll just roll with it. Let's just go with it, you know? Um, and I'm, I'm proud of myself for learning that I can be, I can be flexible. I can do that. And finally, one of the things that I learned is that I need to focus on my physical health. Um, I focus very much on my mental health. That has been a huge priority over the last eight years. And I've always just been one of those, you know, I've got a good metabolism, everything's fine. And, you know, as you get older and your metabolism, unfortunately, doesn't stay so stellar and, you know, your lifestyle and food choices aren't as good as they maybe used to be. And, you know, I find over the years, you kind of tend to hear about how the weight just slowly creeps on. Well, in 2020, it was like, it wasn't slow. Um, I put on weight um, and I think that instead of dwelling on that, it's like, you know, what? I'm glad it happened and it happened quickly because now I can deal with it instead of it being 10 years from now and going, where'd that come from? So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I learned that I need to focus on my physical health and that's part of my goals for 2021. Now, I learned a lot about my world as well. Uh, one thing I learned is we are all in this together. Um... I really felt like there was sort of a, a global union of sorts. You know, you saw the you saw the pandemic starting in China, spreading to Europe, and I mean everything that happened there and in Italy, and then spreading to North America. And there was a very unified response, and that gives me hope that while we are all sort of separate and diverse. We kind of all came together and put together some protocols and really just locked it down. And I know maybe the States wasn't quite so on board, um, but I really feel like with their new administration, things are really going to start happening down there as well. And I really feel like we're really part of this kind of global union. And I think as we head into the future, so to speak, that is really something that as a, as a, global community, we need to focus on coming together. And I really feel like we kind of did that with the with the pandemic. Um, something else that I really discovered about my world is that there's a lot of good in our world. And it's hard, I think, sometimes when there's like, you know, you know, Australia's on fire and Black Lives Matter is blowing up and the pandemic is going crazy. And it's really, it's hard sometimes to find the good. So the first thing I always fall back on is Mr. Rogers and his look for the helpers. That's what he always tells the kids, right? If you're ever in a situation where you're frightened, where something scary is happening, look for the helpers because there's always helpers. And that's what I did with the wildfires, with Black Lives Matter, all those rallies. Um, where were the helpers? Where were the people who were doing the good? 
and there were a lot of people doing a lot of good. Um, and there were some really cool things that happened this year. Um, sometimes maybe you just have to look for it a little harder. Um, SpaceX had the first manned launch into space in 10 years. Uh, sea otters return to coastal BC. That's huge. That's a huge environmental win. Um, in fact, the whole pandemic has really been a huge environmental win. You've seen, I, you may have seen that with all the, you know, the emissions charts and stuff and how everything is just plummeting because people are staying home. Um, they found a new previously undiscovered organ in the human head. Like, what? There's still new things to learn about our anatomy? That's pretty cool. Um, there's like these salivary glands that exist kind of in the back middle of your head that's really kind of hard to get to that they discovered. And you know what? They came up with vaccines for COVID-19. Um, you know, how effective they'll be, all that has yet to be proven. But just the fact that, you know, the communities came together and we have two vaccines now. Um, and relatively quickly, they were saying that they wouldn't have vaccines developed until December of 2021. So the fact that they had them in December of 2020 is huge. You know, it shows what the potential for the human race, you know, what, you know, if we put that kind of, those kind of resources and that kind of drive behind a cure for cancer, um, behind cures for lots of other things, um, yeah, I just, I think it shows our potential. And finally, I learned lots about my place in the world. So, first of all, I got a huge perspective check. Um, I'm a fortunate white middle class Canadian, and I mean, I've always known that. <laughs> It's not like, what? <laughs> but I think this year really made me see my privilege. Um, I had the privilege to stay home and isolate when asked. Um, my husband has a good job. He pays the bills. I mean, he had to go to work, but I could stay home. I could self-isolate. I could do my part there. And I'm very, uh, that's, that's a privilege. There is a lot of people out there, you know, who are essential workers who have bills to pay, who did not have the privilege to just say, hey, you know what? I'm going to stay home this week. Um, I had the privilege to homeschool two kids, um, to keep my son and my nephew out of the public school system, although I'm sure they would have been quite safe there. Um, we had the option to keep them home and let them just stay in homeschool with me. So that's a privilege that I should hold very dear. And I think often, because I'm a woman, and I'd like to think I'm a rather, you know, intelligent, enlightened sort of woman. Sometimes, you know, I do. I, I, I can see where things aren't always equal in our society. Uh, but I've learned this year that while that's still a worthy cause, don't get me wrong, um, there are, there is some blatant racism in our world that... I've always acknowledged, I've always known as there, but this year it really, it blew up um, with Black Lives Matter. And it really made me rethink my position um, and how blessed I am um, to be where I am in this world because white women still rank far above um, most black lives. And here in Canada, most indigenous lives. So um, it really made me realize how very, very privileged I am this year um, and just kind of gave me a really good checkup from the neck up. And I think that's just something that I needed. I think that's something a lot of us needed. So um, yeah, I, I am very blessed and very fortunate and I need to, I need to acknowledge that and I need to work with that. And then finally, um, on my place in the world, I really have come to the conclusion in 2020 that the universe has a plan. I'm a big believer that everything happens for a reason. It happens when it happens for a reason. Um, I have a, a side gig. I have another business that I run. And um, it was going gangbusters the first six months of the pandemic. And this last four or five months, it has completely turned upside down and gone in exactly the opposite direction, um, much to my dismay. And I think, though, that the pandemic just, it's caused a lot of change in my life. 
um, I really wanted to share my voice and I'll be honest I was not a let's share my voice on the internet's kind of girl I was like I want to go out and meet people in my community and unfortunately I couldn't do that this year and that led to my creating this YouTube channel and um creating you know starting to create a, a, an online community that I really appreciate and value so thank you if you're watching this video I really um I do I appreciate the views, I appreciate the likes and the comments, and it makes me feel a little more connected in this world. And it also makes me realize that if my side biz is gonna go ass over tea kettle, maybe that was just meant to be. My heart hasn't been in it for a long time, and it was really, I always said it's just a job, and maybe that's the universe trying to tell me that there's other directions in my life. and. I don't necessarily need to know where I'm going. <laughs> I have no idea. But sometimes we need to close a door before we can open the next one. Um, and so, yeah, I, I've, I've gotten some perspective on, you know, what's going on in life and what, what's really important and what really matters. So that's kind of my take on 2020. Um, and yeah, I don't know. How about you? <laughs> What do you think? Where, you know, what are you taking away from 2020? Drop it in the comments. I'd love to have some discussions about, you know, the lessons coming out of 2020 because I think that there are a lot and I'm sure there's a ton I haven't even touched on. This is just sort of what I could brainstorm together this morning. Um, yeah, if you like this content, give me a subscribe. I'd love to hang out in another video. Um, and yeah, otherwise just stay safe in 2021, peeps. We're there. It's happening. All right. Mwah. Thank you so much. <laughs>